Hi, this is Anson Garcia with Tier 2 UC Engineering, and I'm going to give you a quick rundown on extension mobility. We'll look at the setup, and we'll also uh, do a demo. Okay, so there's only three things that you need to do to um, set up extension mobility. It's create a physical device. Uh, when I mean physical device, we're going to create a phone inside Communication Manager, CUCM. Uh, we create a device profile. That's a virtual device a fake phone, um, so to speak, um, and that phone has a DN, call search base, partitions, call forward no answer, and all those things that are um, associated with a physical device as well. And then the uh, add the device profile to the user's control profile. So let's take a quick look at this and, and see what it looks like. I'm going to go to Communication Manager real quick here. And let's take a look at the physical device first. So I have a physical device configured here. It's a IP communicator phone, and I'm doing this just so I can show it here. And I don't have to show a separate video to show you the demo. Uh, I can see that this physical device is registered, and there's the IP address. And if we look here, here it is. You can see 555 the extension, 555 here. It's registered. The IP address is 172.17.181, and we can see that my IP address on this PC is 172.17.1.181. Okay, so um, we have our physical device, and um, one of the things I said we have to do on our physical device is add the extension mobility service so we can log in. So let's take a look at that. Over here, services, subscribe, unsubscribe. I already have this done, so I'm going to just show you that I have the extension mobility service. Now if I wanted to add it, I would go here if it, did, if it wasn't down here and then I could add it and subscribe to it. Okay, so this service is already created in Communication Manager by default, so there's nothing you have to go create. Uh, you just have to select it and add it to this particular physical device. Okay, um, the other thing we have to do is to ensure extension mobility is on on this physical device. Where do we do that? We'll look right down here and there's a section called extension information right here. And you can see I have this check mark, enable extension mobility. Okay, there's some other features here I won't go into. Um, again, uh, I'm just trying to teach you a little bit about this and how to set it up and give you a demo. You can read further after you understand it a little bit better. So we have that on as well. Okay, what else do we need to do? We need to create a device profile. This is a virtual device. Okay, so let's take a look at that and I'm going to show you this graphic here real quick to further drive home this point. Um, I have two columns here. One is virtual devices on this side and real devices on this side. On the virtual device, well, let's look at the real device first. Uh, I just showed you that there's a real device, a um, IP communicator phone, right? The DN is 555. And then I have this other one over here. It's just, uh, um, uh, we won't use him yet. Hopefully I get a chance to shoot a video on a physical device, and you'll see that as well. Okay, so um, real quick, extension mobility, the concept of extension mobility is to take the virtual device and overlay it on the physical device. In other words, um, I don't care what DN is over here in this physical device, right? We just saw this physical device is DN555. There it is. I'm going to create this virtual phone and then what I'm going to do um, with the extension mobility service is log in from uh, this real device over here and then I'm going to overlay the virtual device right on top of the real device and it will take on the personality of the virtual device okay in other words it's going to take on this DN partition call search space and all that okay so uh, let's go back over here let's create our device profile or our virtual device is what I call it we go to device device settings and then there's a device profile right here. Now I've already created this, so I'm just going to show it to you. Uh, there's nothing magic to creating a virtual device, just like creating a real device. And here it is. I created it right here. Okay, and you can see it looks like a physical device. Uh, phone template, 
um, things like that, call search spaces and partitions. Here's my line. I added the line and I have, you know, call forward, no answer. And I have all these things that are associated with a DN. Okay. Look here. Let me go back to the device itself. Look here, though. It's a name. There's no MAC address associated with this. Um, and also, don't get confused by this. Um, uh, this virtual device is actually based on a physical device. So it really doesn't matter what physical device I base this virtual device on. Um, it matters somewhat for line numbers and speed dials, and I won't get into that. Um, just suffice to say that you do have to pick up a, a product type. If I add a new virtual device or device profile, I have to pick a physical device template. All right, and I'll leave it at that for now. Okay, let's go back to our device profile slash virtual device. What do we need to do? Um, I have here, we create the device profile, the virtual device. I've done that. Add extension mobility service so you can log out. Okay, I created the service on the physical device so I can log in. So in this virtual device, when it overlays, when this virtual device overlays the physical device over here, it needs a service with it so I can log out. What does that look like? Let's see. Here's my virtual device slash device profile. Let me go to services right here. And uh, I can see that um, that I do not have for some reason. I thought I had did it already, so good. We have to do it. I'm going to add the extension mobility service. I'm going to click next here. I'm going to subscribe. I'm going to save here. And I'm going to close. All right. So now on our device profile, um, we see that we have subscribed to the extension mobility service. Okay. Let's go back again. I just want to show you real quick on the physical device, which is this one right here, which is this one right here. We have subscribed to the extension mobility service right there. And then also on the virtual device, which is the device profile um, right here, I have subscribed as well to that service. Okay? And I think the actual one I'm going to, to use for this demonstration um, is just Ben Franklin. So we're going to log in. Ben Franklin is going to be our test user. Um, and let's just make sure that he is subscribed. Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, what's next? Let's see. Right here. So we've created a device profile. We've added extension mobility service so they can log out. And then we Add, we need to add the device profile to the user's controlled profiles. What is that all about? Okay, all we're going to do is um, go to the user device profile, excuse me, the user, and remember we're picking on Benjamin Franklin. This time we're going to go to Ben Franklin's user. And what we're going to make sure is in the controlled profiles right here, he has his extension mobility um, uh, device profile. Okay, seems a little strange. Uh, all I did, let's take a look at this, is in the device profile here, okay, take look at this right here, Benjamin Extension Mobility, and then um, let's go back over here, device profile. There it is right there. I created a virtual device slash device profile. And that virtual device I named Benjamin, could be in any name, Benjamin underscore extension mobility. Once I create that virtual device and then I give it a DN and all that, now to, to marry the two, to connect the virtual device to a user, I go to user management, Ben Franklin, and then I'm going to marry marry that virtual device to this user by 
going to this section right here, extension mobility, and uh, it was in available profiles, and I added it. So it was like this, right? And then I, all I did was add it to his controlled profiles. Once that's done, you're pretty much done. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Uh, let me bring this back up again. All we're going to do here is this device profile, which is associated with the user Ben Franklin. We're going to go up to a physical device. We're going to use the extension mobility service to log in as user Ben Franklin. Since Ben Franklin is only associated with this virtual device, it's going to apply, push this virtual device on top of the physical device. And it's going to take on the personality, speed dials, DN, and all that stuff. So let's see what it looks like. All right, let's bring the IP communicator up. We're going to push services here. There's only one service, and so it's going to do that one automatically. If we had several services, it would list them, extension mobility being one. Um, okay, Ben Franklin, we're going to log in here and we're going to do the pin. Okay, login successful. So what it's doing right now is rebooting the phone, applying this virtual profile right here onto the physical, right? So you can see, remember before, uh, the real device was CIPC, DN was 5555. Now... We basically applied this device profile, this virtual device, pasted it on this phone, and now we have the DN um, 03, uh, 0338. We have a different partition. We have a different call search space. Uh, we logged in as Ben Franklin, and then we have our speed dials. Let me do this. This one had speed dials were on the virtual device itself. Okay, and that's it. Now, remember, on this virtual device, we subscribe to the extension mobility as well. So if we push this button, it's going to say, oh, the only thing you can do um, is log out. So I can log out. Let me log out that. Now, what's, what's going on is it's rebooting and it's taking on the real device's um, personality again. Okay, and that is all there is to it. I'm going to do it one more time, just so we see it again. Services. There's my username, my PIN number. I'm going to submit. Login successful. Now what we're doing is applying this profile, device profile, onto the phone. You can see the DN has changed. The speed dials that are associated with this device profile are on there. And let me show you those real quick, just so you can see that. Remember the device, um, device profile. This is the one we're using. And let's see if he has any speed dials. Here, the speed dials are right here, right there. You can also see them over here. Um, I can just click right here. It's two ways to get there. And I can see I have a speed dial, 1,000 answers office. Okay, and we do see that right here. Okay, log out again. And that's all there is to extension mobility. Okay, now we're going to see how extension mobility works on a 9971. Uh, you saw how it worked on a Cisco IP communicator and you saw that we overlaid a virtual device or a device profile that we associated with Benjamin Franklin and we overlaid that onto a IP communicator. Let's take the same profile um, and overlay it on a 9971. So I'm just going to push the settings button. You don't see my finger here but I'm just pushing settings on a 9971. I've added the extension mobility service to this phone this is a little bit different than the 9900 phones. It comes up as a little icon there. I push that and um, my user ID is already displayed for me there. It's cached because I've already t tested this. And uh, the PIN number. So
so I'm going to push in the pin number here and I'll enter my pin one two three four I'll hit submit now that device profile is now laying itself on this phone and it'll reset and you'll see that we are going to get Benjamin Franklin's DID as we saw before on the CIPC phone and we also get the speed dial uh, now just so you're clear we created a device profile slash I like to call virtual device it was based on the CIPC template and we associated that device profile with Benjamin Franklin and then we walked up to a 9971 uh, which is different than the device template being based on CIPC and logged in and that device template or device profile uh, was now overlaid on this phone so it doesn't matter what you create the device profile as it matters somewhat if there's you know if you create a device profile that has a, a phone that has eight speed dials and you walk up to a 79 uh, 41 or 3945 let's say and it only has two, two lines obviously things aren't going to work as you expected but the line will be there uh, maybe you had four speed dials but you'll only get one so um, that's one difference anyway hopefully this kind of brings it home to you what extension mobility is I'm gonna do one more demo here I'm gonna hit extension mobility again and then it's gonna ask me uh, do you want to log out yes And remember, we put the extension mobility service on the device profile as well um, as the physical device itself. That's why we can log in and log out. And there you go. We're back to what we were before.